New for Acknowledge 4.3, the Locate ECG complex boundaries has been updated to allow for more accurate detection for small animal signals. To locate the animal ECG complex boundaries, we'll go up to the Analysis menu and scroll down to Locate Animal ECG complex boundaries and click this will bring up a dialog box where we can enter in the average heart rate in beats per minute. For this signal, 600 will work just fine. If you're unsure, what you can do is highlight an R peak and an R peak and look at the BPM measurement, which in this case right now is 566. Or we can check another one. You'll see this one is 610. So you can always check a couple of the R to R peaks to get a general idea of your average beats per minute. And then you can go up, again, click on the Locate Animal ECG Complex Boundaries, enter your average heart rate, and then you can choose whether or not to define the T-Wave boundaries. If you want to define the T-Wave boundaries, make sure that your animal has T-Waves similar to a human ECG. I'm going to remove this and then click on OK. The analysis routine will now run and locate all of the ECG boundaries. As you can see, our waveform has now been marked with the ECG complex boundaries. And if I zoom in a little bit more, you'll see we have our QRS onset, peak, and end labeled for each of these ECG complexes and for the entire data file. For more information, you can watch additional Acknowledge software tutorials on our website or contact us at info at biopac.com or 805-685-0066.